And we're live! Welcome to the Wednesday Nights, a group of friends that get together to play role-playing games on Roll20. On Wednesdays, we live stream our adventures here on Twitch and on Facebook. Be sure to visit our website, the Wednesday Nights, that's Nights with a K, and to follow us on Facebook and YouTube where you can watch all of our previous episodes. Now, let's meet everyone. Tonight we have Bryce. Hello, hello. I'm the Weasel, and this is the game. Eldermain. Good evening. I play Davin. Keith. I'll be playing Yurik tonight, and I will have the power. <laughs> and of course, Hans. I'm Hans. I play the cleric. And I am GM Jeremy. And tonight is episode, I don't even know what number. Is it episode 15? 16? 16. 16. Tonight's episode 16 of the Beast of Burden campaign. And we are playing first edition Forgotten Realms campaign setting using the uh, Castles and Crusades rule system. So, quick little recap. If you are just joining us on kind of uh, where we left off, we the adventurers were down in the... Uh, I guess we're calling it like the the, the Witch Heat Hill or um, the Dungeon of the Witch Head, right? And you just just defeated a number of the of the bad guys. Uh, however, our our group is not really sitting in a very good position right now. We've got Weasel who is down. He's got zero hit points, zero hit points, and he's tied up after berserking. After berserking, right? Um, and he's now at zero, unconscious, and tied up on the ground. We have uh, Thad, who got a little too close in there when he was fighting the evil bad wizard who pulled out his staff of screams, and Thad is now deafened. We don't know for how long. And then we have Yurik, who rushed in there to grab the artifact that the wizard dropped, and, uh, and he's kind of having his own little moment with, the, uh, with that artifact. And then, really, <laughs> so the only person who's kind of standing and he's got his, you know, head in the game, kind of his wherewithal together, is Davin the monk. And is he going to stay with the party? Maybe he's going to take these ladies and take off. Who knows? <laughs> We're going to find out. <laughs> That's right. We hired some some ladies to come fight for us. So. That's right. Turncoats. You, you got two turncoats. Right, uh, Nissus and um, S- S- Savini, I think is uh, mercenaries. Is. Let's be fair; they are, yeah, yeah. They they, swords for hire. Mm-hmm. They just they happen to be balls. babes as well, right? Babes. That's right. Yurik's Yerick, been hitting on them the whole time. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I would expect nothing less from Yurik. So, <laughs> well, not successfully hitting on them yet, but now he's got something right. something in his favor. Something going right. in his favor. So let's see here. There we go. All right. So here, here we are. The um, down into the down into the dungeon, and it's really up to you guys on what you want to do. What? What was and actually, the... I need to change the screen over to show everybody what they're looking Excellent. at. Excellent. What was the the last thing that actually happened? Uh, the actual yeah, last the thing that happened, and let me uh, get everybody situated here. There we go. The last thing that happened was that, uh, I guess we'll call it the final battle, um, where you had... You had found um, Dalen, the brother of the Duke. He had yeah, yeah, yeah. The no, I get that. I, it, right? Let me let me let me save. No, go ahead for anybody who might just be tuning in and not seen this before. Go ahead. Yeah. So so yeah. So I mean, that was that's about it. The you had your battle with most of his mercenaries. You killed them or converted them over to your side. And then you found the wizard over here in this room. He was casting some spells. He was using his magic items. And then he went down uh, pretty fast because even though he was hitting hard, you know, he wasn't like, uh, he looked pretty frail, actually. Um, And then Yurik ran in there, grabbed the witch head. Um, Thad is kind of trying to recover. 
and you guys left Weasel in the other room, tied up. But you healed him. He was down to negative nine hit points. You healed him. Uh, you stabilized him up to zero, but you left him there at zero. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and from seeing the map here, too, um, the bit of reminder that I needed was the defeating of Dalen. So that's good. Yep, so he's down. Uh, he's right there in the red X. And so we can... Well, blah. I'll tell you guys. <clears throat> I think I, I think we can uh, heal the weasel. I'm going to take the head out. Okay, but out. we need to get that we need to get that weapon away from him first. So and I look at the I look at the cleric. I'm like, is he even listening to me? <laughs> the cleric can hear nothing. Can't hear. <laughs> He's watching you guys, watching your lips move, watching you guys move around. He has no idea what you're saying. Does he give any indication that he can't hear? I don't. Well, with that, what are you doing? Uh, but we couldn't get the 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 dagger out of the weasel's hand. I think well, we I mean, tried. We 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 oh, tried, right. but worst case scenario, maybe I don't know, break some fingers. I just you know, I I, went, I don't feel comfortable after what we just saw. I, he was out of his mind. I don't feel comfortable bringing him back to consciousness. Stabbed times in a frenzy while killing other people. Yeah, except big deal. except I got hit by <laughs> other people in the party too, so I can't really, you know. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't single now. I think at least half of the hit points I lost was friendly fire, so <laughs> probably was, yeah, or, or or gray fire anyway. But and I, um, I think this this witch head can purify him. It'll be it'll be all right, Davin. We we'll, I'm sure it'll be fine. Using unknown magic underground <laughs> in a dark temple sounds like a great idea to me. My eyes narrow at your placations. And I sort of shrug and then gesture for the cleric to follow us out to the weasel. And There's I, like four but, of us. Yeah, we could all take him if, if he starts getting crazy. Before, He's still tied up, right? He's still tied up, right? He is, yeah. Before we bring him out, can I try to, to get the uh, weapon out of his hand one more time? You already tried. Okay. Fair enough. In fact, I think everybody so, tried. So it's uh, Nisus and uh, what's her name? Sorry. Yeah, they haven't tried. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Nisus, we're going to try to heal my friend here so i'm gonna oh what is that doing <laughs> he went into he went into action <laughs> i guess he can't hear us oh. he attacking someone he's like i can't take it anymore i'm attacking <laughs> who's gone berserk <laughs> i don't understand that's i can't hilarious. hear anything attack maybe he's attacking the silence the darkness i'm gonna hold it over the weasel and say weasel rise he gains one hit point <laughs> he wake up. Yeah, well, yeah, he he wakes up now, and so Weasel, you wake up on this cold stone <gasps> floor. You're tied up. Uh, you're sore. You've you, you've barely got any strength, and you you can't even stand up. You're all tied up. I'm so tired. Does he remember what happened? Ask him. He, he's super groggy. He's barely even awake. He's just like, uh, uh, right. Oh, one hit point. Yeah. He's just barely starting to open his eyes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crouch down and put my hand on his hand, Why the one that's wrapped, up? the one that's wrapped with the dagger in it. I'm like, hey, Why weasel. Is there a scarf wrapped around my hand? Let, let go of the blade, and we'll, we'll get you off the ground here. Uh. Do that. You know, you're gonna have to. No, I can't do that. You physically can't do that, or you just don't want to do that. Oh, probably both. Well, 
I guess uh, the cleric's right. We're going to have to take his hand off. <laughs> uh, oh, that won't help. That'll just hurt me. <laughs> it's true. No, this thing just takes control of me when uh, I get into combat. I just get violent. And just kind of vision turns red and just go crazy. Oh, I don't know. This, this must be what it feels like to be a barbarian. Oh. Do you know how to sew? So this is what um, this is what uh, the fish and cheese boy would do. Yeah, but would the fish and cheese guy leave holes in your garment like this guy? Oh, you didn't like... attack me. I did that. Oh, yeah, I'm you sorry, were crazy, Kevin. man. You were I super <laughs> strong. It was awesome. Got a little I scary. That's understandable. Do you want to be? Time I'm talking. You guys see me reaching up, just constantly, kind of rubbing this amulet. Your hands are behind your back. At least that's the way I envision tying oh, you. Oh, okay. Oh, you have an amulet. Am I tied up? Because of your craziness, the bloodlust. I'm okay now. Um. It's just, it's hard for me to fight off. I think I have a cure for you. I'm gonna hold the uh, head oh, next to his head powerful. and press it in. <laughs> <laughs> roll a save. Uh, Weasel is gonna roll a wisdom save. Are you fucking kidding me? Look, I don't know why Yurik is doing these things to you. <laughs> I'm a little confused, too. Weasel's, like, barely waking up. He's trying to have a conversation. Suddenly, so Eric's like, I'm going to make you better. <laughs> he shoves his head in his what face. What's going on? All right, here we go. Wisdom. Here goes that. <laughs> Jeez. Fourteen. Oh, am I rolling a save or am it's I a save? A it's a okay. save. Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen. I can save nothing. What's that? I'm not very wise. I don't do good with wisdom. Oh yeah, I know. Says the guy who jumps down wells. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So Yurik comes down. And he pushes this thing into your face for some reason. You try to wiggle away. He pushes Ugh. the. Uh, he pushes the stone. Uh, metal, uh, I guess it's actually more of like a, it's not really stone, it's more of a um, cast iron, cold face, right into your face. Um, ah. And it touches your face. And suddenly tingling, right? All ah, throughout your body. Tingling. And it's like Ooh. everything, time just instantly kind of slows down and you start you start looking at the world a little bit different so yeah I'm gonna send you a message here <laughs> and so you're in a bit of shock as this thing takes its hold on you <laughs> and I, I don't know why people are doing this <laughs> to the weasel. So, my hand was on his hand. Am I noticing any uh, possibility of being able to pull the blade away? Of what? Pulling Did the blade he... out of his hand? Uh, no, no. The he's still hanging on to that tight. In fact, you are now healed back up to full as well. I am. Okay. I healed weasel him. Is. Oh. So let's take a look here. You got tw 26 hit points now. Jesus. Back up to full. Boom. And so, Yurik, you, you watch him, and you're just like, whoa. You just, uh, like, it, you just healed him. It, nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, I feel a lot better. I'm going to call for... Um, 
cleric. You yell for Thad, but mm-hmm. Thad can't hear you. And so Thad, uh, the two girls, Nisus, Savini, they start tapping you on the shoulder, right, and pointing towards the door. Shaking you, pointing towards the you door. You They start pushing you towards the door. <laughs> <laughs> You're muted also. All right, so they, they bring him in here. I'm still tied up. I can't do anything. They uh, The girls are like, I, I think there's something wrong. He's not really responding. There's something. We think there's something wrong with your guy here. All right, well, I'm going to leave... Uh... Weasel tied up on the ground and uh, guys, 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 guys. focus on <laughs> Thad for a moment. And uh, I'll take yeah. a look at him. I mean, does he look more injured or something than he than he was in battle? Uh, I mean, he's a little injured. You know, he's a little bloody. Mark's not here with me, friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't no, think no. language works that way <laughs> yeah, that I don't think quickly. <laughs> Uh, it was really, really funny. Uh, yeah, that was really funny. What? Yeah, what's going on? Why are you? Why are you acting funny, Thad? I point at my ears and shake my head. Thad, would you tell them to untie me? Guys, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna uh, point at his amulet. And kind of give a give a questioning th- uh, shrug. Hold on, I got something to fix this. I'll nod when he says that. Okay. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at the girls and be like, "Hey." That's probably this is probably some of the easiest coin you uh, you've made. You, I don't think you had to lift your sword very much in there, did you? Uh, yeah, no. And we haven't looted this place yet, have we? Or did we party loot? Oh, you guys. Um, we looted. You've been last looting time. this whole place. Yeah, the. <clears throat> the main thing good in loops, that, guys, good loops. Come on, untie me. The I think I don't think you've taken all the stuff off of Dalen's body yet. If that's what you mean, if you haven't robbed his dead no. corpse. Hello, hello. Has, has Thad's condition spread, guys? Guys. Weasel's rolling around on the ground. Uh, <laughs> I think he's fine now. He looks okay, Davin. Let's oh. untie him. He he I'm won't be it. Pillaring across the room. Wow. He's no match for, for my power now. I'll be able to turn his berserker form off. I'll untie. I'm, I'm sorry. Your 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 power now. Yeah. You mean now that you've got that head? What this head? Yeah. Hmm. Great. You know, one thing they teach us in the, the monkhood is that the only true power comes from self. Not something like that. Not super powerful magical objects? Well, you'd be amazed at some of the stuff that my older brothers can do. Well, this thing's pretty pretty awesome. Hmm. Uh, any, any luck, Thad? Uh, can you can you hear me? What's going on, bro? I wouldn't say bro. <laughs> <laughs> Still no sound, Thad. It's just completely gone. Uh, Weasel, you're untied, though. It looks like uh, Thad untied oh, you, untied? so you're good. Okay. Yeah. Well, I sheathed the dagger and crossed my arms. Okay, guys, what are we uh, What are we doing now? Looks like we got the head. Are we going back to the Duke? The girls, uh, are, the girls uh, are like, why did this guy girls? turn into such a jerk? Uh, let's He's loot so the. Let's loot the corpse here. Let's, I'm gonna go back to. 
Who are they Who talking about? They're talking about Weasel. Oh. I walk out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Does he come I, along with me? I give the girls a shrug and we're gonna go on, back girls, into this. Let's go back and party. We're gonna go back into this room here. I got some blow. <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> Magic stuff. We you got know, the party. We got the party uh, head. The only problem is the head's the one that's got to snort it. Uh, I'm gonna search his body here, see if there's anything else on him. Yeah, so he's got that staff, um, which you guys might have already in the um, party treasure. Uh, might want to take a look there to see. Yeah, we already went. Okay. We've already got everything off of. We've off already of, looted him. Yeah, I think we already looted him. As I was. When I walk into this room, I'm gonna catch Weasel up on what happened. We found Dale in here. He wasn't really much of a. He had some powerful stuff, but okay. he dropped pretty quick. He had the head, obviously. So yeah, and unfortunately, right. some bracers and a ring. Yeah, unfortunately, that's, that's right. we. So he was a mage. So uh, was... Yeah, and and unfortunately, I, I guess Thad felt we had to put him down as opposed to just subduing him. Okay. So we might not want to mention this uh, encounter when we speak with his brother. I didn't think sure. he's good. So what about the uh, two girls? What are you? They're part of the his group. They're, we hired them to help us. Um, they're free to go now, or they can come join us. Uh, we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll hang out for a bit. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, let's we'll get out. There it looks like there's some doors down here. There's also, let's search this, uh, this big idol thing. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, I grab a torch, Cliff. Yeah? And I run back to the pool. You run back to what? I get my sword. The water, the pool. The oh, okay. Lake. And I grab my sword. I go wading in there and find my sword. Okay. You go wading into the water and you find your your long sword. Okay. And then I come back. And then get pulled under by another element. Yeah, <laughs> another elemental jumps for it. <laughs> and then a tentacle, and then a lich falls from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna search. Uh... I like my sword. I'm gonna search behind here. Is there anything, any, any compartments or anything behind the? Uh, you can go ahead stock. and uh, and let's let's roll an intelligence check, I guess, or make the intelligence um, roll intelligence. You heard me. Yeah. No, you don't find yeah. anything back there. You're like whatever, solid stone. <laughs> yeah. Nothing back there. Anyone else want to <laughs> that can Maybe. It's up to you guys. Whatever you want to do. Uh, we also didn't search this, these other bodies here. These other guys. Oh. Uh, Lasker and Sendrick? Oh. We got we to gotta shield off Lasker. And I... I don't know. I, I almost feel like the, the ladies should be the ones to take anything off of them except for maybe that shield but um they they were the ladies comrades yes yeah, uh nisus she says well dalen kept all of his stuff in another room locked up in uh a chest with uh two other chests oh, oh we well. got all that no we uh yeah those are the boxes it? in that coffin. Oh, uh, okay. We got but all that. Lasker and yeah, they already... didn't have a sword or anything. I'm gonna, yeah, we'll use my wand of magic detection. Yeah, let's take a look here at uh, at what Lasker has. And scroll, scroll, scroll. Yurik, I would be interested in finding out what those braces are. Yeah, I have to. When you have a chance. I have to learn it and memorize it. Mm -hmm. All right. Lasker, you use the wand of magic detection on Lasker's dead, bloody body. Uh, it lights up at his plate mail. It lights up on his longsword. 
And new fab, new armor. What kind of armor? Plate nail. Holy crap! Oh shit, bad. Can you wear plate? He's he points at his ears and. I point at magic hole. <sighs> magic hole? Oh. Yeah. Is that what we're calling it now? No, we have a black or I know. Um, yeah, portable yeah. hole. Portable hole. Yep. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So Lasker get his got, armor off. Lasker's also got some money on him, uh, a coin purse in there, and he's got uh, three hundred and ten gold pieces and two hundred silver. He's got a couple of daggers. He's got a short bow. He's got some arrows. Are the daggers glowed? Nope. The only thing that glows yeah. is the plate mail and the long sword. And the armor that Thad's wearing of his. And then the other guy, the the half orc. <clears throat> um, his his long sword lights up. Uh, his leather his leather uh, armor. He's got a dagger in his belt. Lights up for that. And you find a small potion as well. And he's got also some, some gold and things like that. He has... You find a, a pouch that contains 340 gold and 50 silver. And a ring. Uh, Lasker? No. Sorry, ring? The other guy, Cendric. He's got this... Um, he's got a... 340 gold, 50 silver, and a ring that looks like it's worth about 100 gold. Um, he also has a backpack on him. And that was glowing? Uh, it's not glowing. Well, I'm going to open the backpack. Uh, inside, you find some thieves' tools, um, some small vials... Um, six small vials. None of them are glowing. Uh, he's got uh, 20 crossbow bolts tied to the side of his backpack in a small quiver for his crossbow. And did he have glowing daggers? I couldn't remember. He has glowing leather armor, a long sword, a dagger, and there is one vial or potion that is glowing, but six others that are not. Okay. Um, again, I started adding stuff to party treasure, but someone else might want to do that. You got that, Davin? Um, yeah, I, I've copied down everything from that, and and uh, I'll I'll Just check after. Mm-hmm. He's still trying to get set up to my network. No worries. Okay. So let's take that and put all that stuff on the portable hole. We'll drag that over. Portable hole. Okay. Did, did we want to check this door out, Weasel? Was yeah, Lasker's... Traps. Was Lasker's sword a long sword? Yeah. Thank you. There's no <laughs> traps. I throw it open. If it's unlocked. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all, like, banded and kind of locked up, but it's locked up from your side of things. So you can, you know, start adjusting, moving these iron bands and stuff to get the door open. And, uh, and the door opens up into... Another room that's about <clears throat> it's about fifteen feet by fifteen feet, and and there's another door at the opposite side. Uh, you want to test in there? Yeah, <laughs> you should go first. Me, I should go first. Someone with that. Should. Who? Nieces. Nieces, have you been in this room before? 
Uh, we've never opened it before. Uh, we just know that uh, <clears throat> that Dalen had said that this was another way out, um, but we never uh, we never saw him open it. I was actually hoping that the uh, Thad had a little bit uh, a little bit of blessings from his God that he could share heal me up a bit. Feeling a little stamped down. I can heal you. Mm, kind of rather have the God do it, not the witch head. If you don't I mind. I have AFK for five minutes. I'll be right back. Okay. 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 I think the witch head is. I mean, it's all powerful. Why would you not want to receive its blessing? Because it looks horrible. Okay. You're lost. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'm going to go into this room. Being careful, uh, I can see. That's my elfiness. Spot hidden doors. No, I. <laughs> Traps. <laughs> <laughs> right. You walk in, it's cold, it's dark. Any world's coming. And roll initiative. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. The wizard leads the way, I guess. <laughs> as soon as Weasel let leaves. What's that? Seeing that, seeing that Bryce has to go AFK. <laughs> right. You, well, you're the one that walked and, in. Uh, and Hans let's see. has dropped off the, I will the call, too. I will these two. And... I rolled good. Everyone rolled hella good. Look at that. So we're just waiting for, for Weasel to get back. So basically, you walk into this room, you suddenly get this feeling of, like, motion suddenly all around you, even though you can't see anything, it's just motion, 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 then starts initiative, and, and, and yeah, and then that is like, why, why are we rolling initiative? Um, because you don't, yeah, you don't see anything. Is something attacking me? Oh, yes. And so this you're so as you walk into the room, it's going to get one free attack for a, as a surprise here. And let's see. It is going to it misses, but you you can feel like just this shove or push and air moving around you and you're like, "What the hell is this?" And it missed, though. It did. And so we're going to go ahead and go. Weasel's going to hang back in this this round of initiative. And now it is Davin's turn. Uh, I'm I'm assuming, uh, based on your description there, that uh, Yurik has yelped in distress. Yeah, he's like, oh, what? All right, so I'm going to gesture to the, to the ladies and give them both a quick look as I move ahead and I gesture for them to follow us in and I'm going to move up here on guard and look for an enemy. You see nothing. Um, I do have a torch. Um, you see nothing. Let's see. One, two, three, four. She walks in. She's like, what's the problem? And then she's going to come in too. Oh, come on. Why is she doing that? Oh, I see. She oh, likes me. Yeah. Put that there. <laughs> there we go. All right. So Nisus comes in. Thad's turn. What do you want to do, Thad? I made the mistake connecting my phone to Wi-Fi and not... And now Discord's updating. <laughs> oh, no. Eh. 
All right, well, do you want to cast any spells or... <laughs> Yurik wants to attack Davin, apparently. Um, no, he... So, yeah, so, Thad, if you want to cast any spells, if you want to try to um, rush in and cast Magic Missile with the Darkness, I don't know. Can he hear us? I don't think so. Oh. Maybe not. Because I need that healing. Oh, yeah, you do. You got 14 hit points. <laughs> no, okay, attack Davin. No, heal Davin. Or me. <laughs> All right. All right, so he's going to hold his action, which brings us to Yurik. What do you want to do? Hold on. Um, so we're going to yell out, stop moving around, show yourself. You shout out, stop moving around. And uh, is that all you're going to do? We'll There's nothing, nothing changes. You, see a sh you know, you don't even see a shimmer in the air or anything. You just start shouting at the air. Show yourself. Um, hmm. And nothing. Can I put on the ring of invisibility for the end of my turn? The yeah, as your action. Yeah. You yeah. Can put on a ring. It's gonna have to be at this point. Okay. So you put on your ring of invisibility. Davin vanishes. Let's see if we've got a little icon. Yep, cool. Ninja mode. All right. And then Savigny, Savini, she moves in uh, behind Davin. And then... Oof. Another miss. And so... I'm going to clear that. And we are going to roll initiative again. Man. The door closed? No, it's been open. I mean, you guys opened it, but... Initiative. Okay, so I'm back. I am so, so sorry, guys. I'm no, so sorry, okay. audience. With, uh, I own a Great Dane, and when the dog needs to shit, you go take the dog shit. <laughs> uh, me first. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Two. Yes. Three. Oh, well, it's uh, you're you bringing out the shovel for your house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one, two. Three. One litter box you don't want to have around. Uh, all right. So it looks like Thad Sling's roll initiative. I can do it for him. He's having technical issues with his phone and his audio, so he can see the game, but he cannot hear anyone right now. Oh, okay. Let his him know I updating. need some healing on his turn. He has no spells, if I remember right, but I'll tell him. Okay. That's right. We didn't rest. Yeah. Well, Thad won initiative. So he can take an action here if he likes. Let me just say uh, Thad won initiative. That way he can... Hopefully he can see it on the screen and tell us what he'd like to do. Because, um, yeah, I don't know if he has any spells memorized uh, or if he's, he might be out of spells. I think he was getting really close in that in those battles. So this thing's just swirling. second level spells right now. So, Bryce, there's this thing that's swirling around and it's attacking, but it's we can't, we don't, can't see it, can't hit it. Oh, it's invisible or something. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> it's a weaselly sound. Is it my turn? Uh, no, it's Thad's. Um, but he'll hold action, and we'll go on to Weasel then. Okay, holding action. Okay. 
Yurik. Uh, well, I'm going to back oh, out. No, of this no, game. no, not me. I'm sorry. I'm, I was talking to Dad. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm going to throw oh. my cloak on. <laughs> sorry. Visible. You're going to what? Throw your cloak on? Throw my cloak on, go invisible, and just go to the doorway. Okay. Pull my bow out. All right. Yeah, and I'd have to say that, that when I threw my ring on, I just tossed the, the torch in the center of the room, just dropped it. Okay. There's a... Watch out, folks. There's a burning torch in the middle of the room. How do I turn this music down? Hey, there's Hans. Click. Um, There's a tab with a music category, I think. Uh, Is he trying to adjust the the volume? It's on the gear. Yeah. The gear master music volume. And so you know, I'll, I'll just say there there is an there's something there's an invisible force, an invisible creature in here that is trying to attack you guys. And even though you can't see it, you What's can't really determine forward? exactly where it's at. You can make attacks at this thing. One of the there's just going to be a lot of you know negatives while you're kind of swinging and you know trying to figure out where where to even strike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, I can't target him with a spell. Can't see him right now. Unless you can think of some way to see him. Sorry, I'm looking up the spell here. Okay. Uh, there's some that are not in castles. Yeah, I mean, all, all the spells that, you know, you have are in your spell book. Um, and so... Oh, I'm just saying, yeah, there's some that are not from the head that are not in the... Yeah, some of them are renamed and a little bit tougher. Yeah, to I'm find. trying to figure out. Most of them are here, but the, there's a couple here. Mm-hmm. So, all right, so Weasel moved forward, did this. Yurik, what are you doing? I'm going to move out of the room. <laughs> move back. Okay, you, start, you start to move back, you bump into the invisible weasel. <laughs> and now it's Davin's turn. <laughs> what is that sound? I have no idea. <laughs> Hans is a never... He's a never-ending he font of sound. playing with his toy, and Hans has this thing on speaker, so it's picking up my dog. <laughs> um, I'm gonna move to there, and I'm on guard, and I'm I I want to basically react to any indication of where something might be. So if either of the ladies give a sign you, of you feel a presence in front of you, directly in front of me, so it's it. moving around you. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to hit it. Go for it. What's on the other side of this room? I think it's another door. Yeah, it's another uh, they door. They said it's the way out. It's another way out. 21 to hit. Ooh, you hit it. Roll damage. Nice. You're, you swing and you feel an impact. <laughs> Like solid or like hitting the water before? Solid. Eight points of damage. Boom. And I'm just going to try to focus on that and do my best to yep. keep it in my quote unquote sights. Yep. And it's going to strike back and miss. If you can get a hold of it, I can cast. Excellent a light on it, and then we'll be able to see it. I'm going to use my hold action. And one of the girls is going to swing, and she fumbled, and she broke her weapon. Way to go, Nisus. Um, she slams it into the ground and breaks it. Um, that was on purpose. Segni, try swing, misses. And 
that is going to take us back to initiative. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I can hear everybody's computer. Whoop, whoop. It's rolling initiative. That's just one person or two people, perhaps, that you're hearing Bryce and Hans through Hans's. <laughs> There's like a reverb back and forth. Microphone, yep. speakers. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. Descending order. Boom. All right, this thing's going to strike out. Jeez, uh, what? Seriously? Why? Why do I keep rolling? Uh, all right. And it misses. <laughs> you hear air go past your ear. Now it's Excellent. That's turn. Um, I guess... Um, where am I? You are back here. Yeah. I lean in the back. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have my books. I left them at the office, so I don't remember what second level spells are. I. I don't. Uh, I think you've got digital copy of. Anyway, if I'm deaf, how can I cast? You can still speak. You can cast spells, right? You're. It's not. You're not mute, right? So you can still speak and move your arms. You just can't I've ever hear. Heard a person... What's that? Have you ever heard a deaf person talk? Yeah, but you yeah, learned but to talk you're... already. Yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. This, this is a, it, it, it's partial muscle memory. This is a memorized prayer that you do often. So, on here we go. Um, I got aid, og, Aguari. Oh no! Um, don't read the whole list. <laughs> Like five, there's only like eight oh, okay. or something like that. Uh, consecrate, darkness, delay poison, detect traps, hold person, uh, le lesser, lesser restoration, remove paralysis, silence, speak with dead, and spirit. That's it. Okay. Those, those ring a bell. I'm going to cast aid. Okay. The cleric uh, in the back, he starts, he starts casting a spell. He's speaking louder than he normally does because <laughs> he can't hear himself. And uh, and he casts aid, which um, aid is going to, um, if I remember right, it's like uh, it's like bless, right? Everyone gets like a bonus so. to their saving throws and things like that. All right, Davin's turn. Okay, the squish that went by my ear, I'm going to go ahead and pull a shot in the direction that I think this thing is based on the information at hand. Mm -hmm. And roll. Yee. I think I missed. That's a miss. And... So Vinny's going to go over here and stand next to you and swing where you're swinging. And that is a miss. And she's going to pull out a dagger and stand over here by you and swing where you were swinging. And that is also a miss. And now it is Weasel's turn. Okay. I am going to um, run across the room. Invisible. Okay. And open the door. All right, what's the path you're taking? A straight line south, two squares. All right, and so we're at that point right there. Boom, you hit this force. So you're forced to go back one. Yep, perfect. You're right there. Boom. Two invisible forces just hit one another. So you went one, two squares, boom, hit this thing. And you're stabbing it with your sword, right? That sword you like? Yeah. <laughs> 18. That is a hit. 
Go ahead and roll damage. Ten points. Boom. Your sword lashes out and strikes something. Does some damage. Your X turn. So I'm gonna go over here and uh, swing uh, at the invisible thing with my dagger. Plus two. Go ahead and roll. No! <laughs> that you, what was that? that the DM would... totally, like, it was over, and then it rolled back to one. That, that would be a fumble. Seriously? Brutal. That would be a fumble. That well, was... Uh, where is my fumble? At least he can't hit me this time. <laughs> oh my gosh. You go swinging and you smack yourself in the head and knock yourself out. Ugh. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. So he's unconscious now. And that is going to take us back to initiative oh, the against the invisible creature. And let's see. And we can do that. And let's have to. All right, so Yurik, yeah, you're still knocked out, but um, let's see, where's Thad? Thad needs to roll initiative. I'll roll it. Then we get a five. All right, Davin goes first. All right, I want to try to apply my sticky hand technique here, which basically means I'm, I'm going to have to make an attack roll, and if it's successful. I'm able to place a hand on him and keep it on him. And I say him in quotes on this force. Um, and then that has advantages. So yeah, I'm going to attempt to do that yeah. right now. Yeah. Mm, 18. You touch it. You're now stuck okay. to it. What's it feel yep. like? Well, I don't know yet. However... It and now might look gonna... odd to others. Yeah. But Boom. yeah, I mean, does it, any any indication? I mean, is it is it just a force or does it feel like a being, a person, humanoid? Uh, you can't tell. But okay. it's Good lashing into something. It's not warm. Um, this adventuring doesn't work for you. You can always have a great career miming. <laughs> did you? <laughs> did you? Uh, Boom. So did you say it's not warm? It's not warm. And so. Okay. And, and just as you do that, it swings and it punches you right in the stomach for four points of damage. Okay. And so minus four, boom. Um, I, I actually had a armor class that was two higher than my standard armor class with that ability. Uh, I rolled a twenty. So did he still hit with it? I rolled a twenty. You rolled a twenty. Oh, okay. The. Um, all right, so now Mises is going to attack. That's a miss. Sagni is going to attack. That's a miss. These guys are just sucking. The Thad's turn. Now you've got a pretty good idea of where this thing is at right now. And what would Thad like to do? Um, well, there's a whole lot of people in the way. Continual Light wasn't a second level spell, was it? Dark uh, spirit, spiritual weapon haunt, you can cast and hit it, whack it with it. I didn't speak to silence. I need light. But you have darkness. Well, that doesn't help. Okay, is it the <laughs> I don't know how that works. Famous words from a non-wizard. <laughs> Can't you do the opposite? Mm -hmm. Because in the in first edition, there was like light, and then darkness is two separate spells. 
Uh, you can use your spiritual weapon to attack it. I think light is a cantrip. You can't reach it. You're... Hmm. Uh, it floats, I thought. Tell Telekinetic. Does it? Yeah, spiritual fine. weapon, it says telekinetic weapon. Yeah, you don't wield it. It's it. It's kind of like a dancing sword. Or whatever you make it. Yeah, whatever you want it to be. So, I will cast Break Dancing Hammer. Okay. <laughs> it's hammer time. <laughs> okay. Um, one round per level. Ouch. Uh, divine energy, so like an energy weapon just comes into being. Uh, it doesn't... Deals 1.1d8 damage. Roll your attack. And I think you have to roll the attack. Uh... Yep, roll your attack. Okay. Um, how do I do that? Just roll a 20 side. Um, you, or you could just, if you're using your character sheet, you could just. Um, I left my, all my and stuff. You get the plus one, a plus one weapon for each, every three levels of caster, so it would be actually a plus two if he's level Okay, six. so I'm just going to use this mace here, and we're just going to do the math off of that. All right, and then he gets a plus one on top of that for every level, yeah. you said? Yeah. So every three levels. So that's a hit. So now he gets to roll damage. Roll 1d8. 1d8. Damn, you only got one point damage. Boom. But you hit it. And yeah, this now it's Weasel's turn. What? Zero level spells. Yeah. I didn't even know I had those. Cantrips. Cantrip. Yeah, cantrips. Because <laughs> uh, they're still. Oof. So what? With the bonus? I, I don't know how to look out for them. I've never looked at the magic. I don't play magic. Well, neither have I. Hey, Hans, give it a mute. Por favor. Grazie. Sorry, guys. That's okay. Getting him caught up. Weasel's turn. Okay, so. This thing's in front of me. I am no longer. Uh, yeah, I attack. Okay. Go for it. 23. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Seven points. Oof, you clobbered it. You're like, get out of my way. Boom. All right. Now it's your X turn. Am I still knocked out? And yes, you're still knocked out. Why didn't I put... The, I forgot to put the little guy on you. Yep. You are knocked out. So where is the... Yes, you're still knocked out. Let's do that. Okay. So now, initiative. Move. Clear. There we go. And I'm going to do that this time. Yep. And initiative. And initiative. There we go. You reckon you're going to roll initiative? There we go. All right, so it starts with Weasel. You go first. Okay, I guess I'm just going to stab it. Okay. This thing is stupid. Let's just get out of here. And that's a miss. And then she is going to make a roll, and she misses. That makes Weasel not happy. And she misses as well. Now, this thing materializes. It's 
this airy elemental type of creature black misty robe things and then it swings twice at Davin and misses and misses <laughs> it was supposed to be an epic reveal and then it's like boom boom total duds <sighs> I know where it's going to move so I'm just like swish swish bob and weave yeah so oh I think it was Davin's turn next but that's alright you can go now okay uh, you're right it is um, I'm going to go ahead and strike. 22 to hit. That's a hit. And... 10 points of damage. Boom. You hurt pretty good. It roars pretty good. <sighs> That's what the roar sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, of course, keeping my hand on him. Okay. And Yurik, you wake up. Can't do anything this round, but you will be awake for the next okay. one. So we'll take that off there. Thad's turn. And Thad may be muted don't know he is okay doom to doom doom sorry i keep hitting the wrong thing to unmute and then it delays me ah welcome back uh i guess i will continue hitting it with that break dancing hammer yep there you go roll your attack uh, can i get dice uh or i could roll for you whatever cool Oh, no, Gus. Go away. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> no! The, the, oh no, what happened? New, the dog just found a new treat, probably. Oh. <laughs> Dog's like, gulp. <laughs> but that was an eight. Oh, did you? The, the dog ate the dog. <laughs> oh, I love mm. it. Good um, call. It Good was call. A, but the dog ate it. it was I'll tell you what, I, I'll roll for you. How about that? Have fun getting that dice back, Bry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it in time. Oh, good. He's a good pup, believe it or not, but he is a pup. <laughs> All right, you hit. You hit. So let's roll damage. Yeah, you might want to roll it. Guess will he eat it. Oh, God. I rolled another one. I'm just, um, let's give it some bonuses. We'll say it's three points of damage. Yeah, you might not want to let Jeremy roll. I know, I keep you. rolling ones. Um, all right, so now we're going to clear that, and it is initiative again. And, okay. One, two, three, there we go. All right, Davin goes first. With his lightning reflexes. And I'm going to go ahead and strike again. Ooh, 28 to hit. That's a hit. For six points of damage. Boom. You heard him. And now it's Weasel's turn. Oh, yeah. Although, I, I mean, you beat him up actually really bad. <laughs> That's a hit. Critical. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> there you go. Hot dice again. Bam! Death. Fuck this, let's leave. <laughs> You're like, screw this guy. Fucking thing. That thing was tough. It's the air elemental? Jesus Christ. And it yeah, if there's any splits up and... 
splits away into this grayish blackish nonsense. There's another door here, it's closed, it's locked. Detect traps. And roll it. You don't it's detect any traps. Swing it open. Oh, tra oh, locked. Unlock it. Yep, got a roll to unlock it. Yeah, you open this thing up. The door clearly has not been opened in a long, long time. Um, I'm going to, I guess, wait for Thad to come into this room or whatever he's doing. <laughs> and he's like, check out this. Check camera. on his hearing if it's come back at all. Negative. And then I'm going to try and gesture to him by pointing out some of the bleeding cuts and shit that I have on myself with that inquisical shrug, like, you know, can you heal me? I can heal you. <laughs> I can't heal you. Sorry, what was that, Thad? I was I can't heal. You're, you're out of that stuff. His deity has left him. The one deity... Never... This magic head will heal you. You're just fine. Come on, Davin. So, now that head's a deity? It's my friend. Oh, God. It's giving me lots of power. Fine, hit me with it. No, not literally. Just the healing. You have to get really close. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lit up for him. Yeah, you see, now that reaction Roll from the DM a wisdom makes me really hesitant. Save. Roll a wisdom save. I presume you're referring to me. Yep. Okay, so this is just the wisdom off the character sheet, right? Uh, yeah, so it's a saving throw. So you would just click on your character sheet the um the the attribute guy. basically yeah <laughs> oh, guys so we're really going this direction are we i knew i knew i should have held out we're really going this direction all right so you play my character from now on <laughs> no gm jeremy no, no, no. But or the, or am I but you know serving him tea and washing his fucking feet? Uh, uh well. You're healed. Boom. And yeah, you're healed. Back up to full. You feel a little different about the world today. <laughs> uh unbelievable. As in what, a little more chaotic or a little more evil? Just, just the evil. Mm. Fortunately, I don't think Castles and Crusades has a loss of monk abilities attribute with the yeah, shift of the so. line. Yeah, I don't think that's, yeah, I don't think that exists on any of the, any of the classes. Um, but yeah, no, you, you, you got a kind of a darker outlook on life in the world now. And, uh... I actually giggle a little bit when sure. the healing's complete. <laughs> yeah. Let's get out of here, crew. So... <clears throat> you... I think my magic head... I'm like, man, this thing's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you love it, man. It's amazing. Is it... <laughs> What's that? Invisible thing dead? Yes, the invisible thing is dead. Yeah. Uh, turned why, into like why? this grayish mist and shattered away. Why uh, didn't we use our party treasure instead of that head? Because someone went ahead and picked up the fucking head. What are you talking about? The no, head... that, was, that was out of character, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Head's good. 
I'm gonna open it the helps doors, us. I want to get out of here. Yeah, the head helps us. What are you talking about? It's been awesome. All right, so you you it. managed to pull the door open, right? And it's pulling in a lot of dirt and stuff from outside, and uh, then that opens right back up into that little uh, little valley and that little lake. Um, it's now it's dark. Um, looks like it's um, you know probably like uh, maybe like eight o'clock in the evening, approximately. And you open that up, and you get this gust of fresh air. I'm walking out. Okay. Feels good. It it does. It does feel good. Glad to be out of that place. Yeah. Go take this thing to the Duke. What? Take this thing? What do you mean? <laughs> We gotta, we gotta show it to him. Get Melisana. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get Melisana. So it's it's pretty dark. I mean, it would take you guys, you know, a couple hours to. Oh, not right this second. Yeah. I'm tired. Might want to. Uh, yeah, you guys are definitely really tired. Definitely out of spells. Priest can't hear. Yeah, Thad does. He, Thad's up. still in the. He's still in there. He he never left. <laughs> oh shit! No one grabbed him. He's like, <laughs> he's got a rope around. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he's looking around. You're like you're deaf, not blind. Well, or stupid. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I just closed the door. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, once so, so once yeah. we're outside, I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna take uh, not not Lasker's but the other dude's coin pouch. Okay. And kind of indifferently hand it to the girls without saying anything to whoever's closest to me. Just hand it to them and continue walking towards the town. They take it gladly. Um, and then Davin starts walking towards town in the dark. Hold on. Davin, why don't we head up to our old campsite? There's no point in walking now. To, I mean, everyone's going to be locked up in bed, all that shit. It's just, we just went through hell, man. Yeah, I think it takes like three hours to get back there, if I remember right. To the campsite? No, to the to town. It's going to no, take you a while to walk to back. To town. So might as well yeah, camp out. Uh, my, Identify I just, some items. Davin yeah. point, points to the, the campsite and, he's, and says it's on the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. I go up there, set up my little thing, pass out. Okay. I'm going to read up on my spells. I'm going to learn it, <laughs> identify for sure. And I'm going to impatiently egg them on because I want to find out what those braces, braces are. Okay. Well, that only... I'm going to need to rest all night. Yeah. Okay. So, but you want to cast identify on some of these things, right? Too. So. Yeah. We have a yeah. party treasure that needs identified. Hold on one second. I got to go AFK for two seconds. Yeah. You cut it out sometimes. Doom, 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 doom. That's the doom. Song. Sorry, that was my mattress, guys. They, I'm getting a new mattress delivered tomorrow. So, uh, yes. Cool. Hey, nine o'clock. They're delivering the mattress. Jesus. No, they call. They between seven and nine. They call, like to or like the schedule for tomorrow for some reason. I don't know yeah. why they do it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I will learn, identify, and start identifying all this. All right, so there is a um, there's the leather leather armor, which is plus one. Hold on. Okay. Treasure. Doom, 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 doom. Wait, where did the leather armor come from? The half orc rogue who had the backpack. 
Did you not bra grab it? That's fine. You guys don't have it. No, we grabbed it. We put it in a portable hole. Okay, <laughs> then well, it's leather armor was, plus uh, one. It's yeah, actually a that. leather baldric plus one. Wait, leather baldric? Baldric. With D. Baldric. That. Oh. Plus one. Not just a Black Adder character. I know. <laughs> I was trying to think yeah. of a funny Black Adder line, but uh, God, there's so many. Mm -hmm. So there's a there's a long sword plus two. Okay, that is in here. There is a dagger plus one. No, that's not in here. There is a there's one potion of climbing. Okay. There is plate mail plus one. What is the chain mail that I'm wearing? Plus one. And the other other longsword? The other longsword is a plus two as well. The the staff of Dalens is let's open this up. Oh, come on. Trying to show it to everybody. Is it popping up on your screens? I don't see it popping up here. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Um, let's see. Let me let me edit this, and I'll try to make it show up here. And we'll move that into a different field. Get to that one, and now show it to players. Oh, come on. Really? Dun, 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 dun. Let me try one other thing here. Try to get this thing to... Let's do... Let's do this. And... Edit. And I have the item created in here, and I just want to go all players. There we go. Boom. There it is. There is your staff of screams. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. I'm not... For one to three weeks. That's correct. Um, and then that's badass. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's... I mean, that's a tough, stinking adventure. Um, this is the first time that <laughs> the first time that it's ended like this. Um, let's see. Any other items in your um Bracer. uh, bracers. Uh yeah, the bracers. Uh, those are and a ring. So the the bracers are going to be bracers of defense. And the of what? Bracers of defense. And they give um they give an AC plus six. Jesus. Yeah. 
the ring. Ring of protection plus one. And then there's one more unidentified potion. It's a potion of extra healing. I would like the ring. Uh, I'd like the bracers. I'll fight you for him. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you need the bracers. I didn't realize. Yeah. You didn't have armor. <laughs> and you won't have armor. Then I want the staff. Oh, Done. The... You have all defeated Dalen, only to replace him. <laughs> <laughs> the mage can wear... The mage can what? Wear the plus one baldric. I don't think so. Uh, leather armor. I don't think I can wear shirt. You can't wear shirts. Uh, it's like a, a it's leather armor, basically. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so now the the bracers actually give you. An AC of six, right? No, so these are... Um, I'm doing kind of the, the reverse here. So you're, you're going to put them on, and it's going to give you a plus six to your AC. Okay, so instead of the default, what, ten it starts at? Yeah. Um, it would be 16. Yep. Holy shit. Then, yeah, I didn't All right. Axe. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely tank time now. Oh, my gosh. And so, so Thad, there may be like some healing spells or something you can cast on yourself to restore the the, the hearing. Your deafness. Is that a spell? Uh, well, it was in first edition. So yeah, maybe that's uh, maybe that is an option then. Yeah, you might. I mean, in this game, it it if they don't have that, it might be like a lesser restoration or something. No, you have. Yeah, yeah. You, there is something. I gotta find it again. Because I know that your restorations cover a number of ailments. Level three, remove blindness or deafness. Level three. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I cast it. Okay. So you're going to pray for the spell. Get it. Cast it. Now your hearing is restored. I forgot what the trees... <laughs> like, I, can, I can hear the bats flapping. I chuckle at that. And I guess after a slow start in the morning, because a lot of this identifying stuff was going on and whatnot, then we head back towards town. Yeah, one second here. Yurik is in deep meditation. <laughs> Good grief. Yeah. All right, then with that, Yurik, roll save with wisdom. Wisdom? Yeah. Damn it. Look, I, I didn't write these rules, man. No, you think it's a great idea. Okay. 
I think it is a great idea. <laughs> you, you're just like this. This witch head Fuck. is really on to something. <laughs> it's really on to like. It's got some good ideas, man. It's really resonating with you now. All these ideas that it's been throwing into your head. You're like, yeah, it makes sense. It does. It really That's does. Not a bad idea. Ruminate to myself as we back towards the town. Yeah, you're like this thing really makes really makes a lot of sense here, and so the um, uh, I'll pull for, uh, Weasel aside for a second. For anyone watching, I think a certain amount of confusion here is uh, in order, so be at ease. Oh, sorry, they'll be able to read our chat. Oh. I'll point them to the lower right chat window. What's that? On the streaming, they'll show our chat. Right, yeah, it does. It will. Yeah, on, on Twitch, it will. <laughs> yeah, they'll be able to see this conversation because it'll all be you from your screen. I could have been I could have been cheating. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> you'd be like, Oh man, that's the things that the thing's been sh shoving into his head. Yeah. Well, I just want to point out that you're the one who running up there and grabbed the thing. <laughs> right? It's like, oh my gosh. You're um, right. The um so yeah, now it's up to really Thad. I thought it was gonna be up to I thought it was gonna be up to Davin. Um but it's really up to it's really up to that at this point on and I guess that makes sense him being the holy guy but I'm not sure what be, one person can do but I mean here's the thing like this was um, the like I said at the beginning right when I the, what I had in mind I think with the overall uh, the overall campaign with this just being part one of this like three-part kind of big story about you know the beast all starting with beast of burden and even though it's just like oh and i oh, i've been thinking about this for like the last two weeks like what if this is the direction that it goes it's actually not that bad of a direction to go it's kind of cool actually which i think will make sense later we are like oh yeah that totally makes sense um but not a bad thing We'll but, see, but I think, but it's, uh, but it'll really come down to what what Thad is going to end up doing in this scenario. Thad, these guys have gotten really dark. <laughs> they're they're talking like dark stuff, man. <laughs> they're sitting around that that fire. That's not even a campfire. They're like, no, let's sit in the cold. <laughs> no, I. Uh, I would have a campfire. I, from my gestures, I don't look very happy. No one looks very happy right now. Except for maybe well, Yurik. Yurik's thinking power. Yeah, no, I, I start with, hey, guys, we shouldn't be down. I mean, like, you know what? We we, we could own this place. I mean, like, we don't, we don't have to be working for the man anymore. Like, seriously, like, we could. What do you think, Weasel? Like, are you sick of working for the Duke? I mean, we could maybe well, become the Duke. You just want his daughter. Well, that too would be a side benefit, but, uh, you know, of course we would, you know, go through the proper channels, but, you know, there's nothing, nothing saying that we couldn't become Dukes ourselves one day. I'm one day off in the future. I'm more than just a side benefit. I don't want to be no fucking Duke. I don't care about being a Duke. Well, what about helping? I mean, and the head. I just want to make a nice little slice of pie for myself. Got revenge on my father's death. It's true, and you don't know anything about I mean, any really sort of Thieves' here. Guild in Ventress, and you didn't see anybody you were newer in town. Yeah, the barkeep was part of the network. He knew Thieves' Guild anyway. So right. Yeah. Oh, but no leaders that. like when you met Badger, right? Oh, no. No. Well, Fentress is a lot bigger. It's That's right. Bigger. It is a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger than Jacamon. Was there an original quest we forgot about? <laughs> 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 That's, that so fits, right? That, yeah, that's no, a great what? question, man. Um, yeah, so you guys are all sitting around talking about taking over the dukedom and uh, establishing new thieves guilds in town. 
<laughs> He's like, don't we have a quest? <laughs> Aren't I well, on a mission I- from Shantaea? <laughs> Aren't we trying to save Moonshay? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we were. <laughs> but we have, like, I mean, like, I'm inspired here, guys. I think we could do a lot of good for this this nation. Let's let's go back and talk to this duke. Maybe he'll join us. I don't really care about owning a nation, though. That's the thing. Well, I mean, you could have your your thieves guild. Wouldn't that sound cool? <clears throat> so the uh... yeah, but I don't know if I'm ready for that. I mean, oh, you I'm are. Sure the, the the girls say, uh, yeah. There's no there's no like. Uh... There's no established oh, thieves guild here on this island. There's a few, a few former thieves guild members from other islands that have retired out here, but we have not seen any sort of uh, thieves guild here. And this this duke is pretty weak. That's why we joined Dalen to begin with. Yeah, I think his that was his brother, right, Dalen? Yeah. There is to find my father. Mm. If you want to think about this logically and rationally... I want to go back to Giacomo, first of all, because I want to go tell uh, Blackbeard Blackbeard about all this. Okay, and maybe that's our first thing we do before we visit the Duke. Well, no, Duke probably first, because Duke is here on the island. I mean, if we're going to get any room... I mean, if you're talking about keeping this thing for ourselves because it's some powerful mage thing, I mean, I get that. I don't really give a shit. I don't know what the Duke was offering us, but we got tons of money. We just need power at this point. Well, that's what I'm saying. He, he might have an arc. Big on dukedoms and thieves guilds and stuff, and we, we're not there yet. We got to get there. That's what he wanted to do. Okay, that's right. You know what? Here's, here's the deal. Out of me. So, I mean, we got to go. What are we doing now? Here's the deal. This, ahead, what are we doing? this is this is definitely a sideline to what we were doing before. We're we're only here because we were turning that bitch of a, a girl, his daughter, back to him, Melisana. And so, uh, my thief guild sent us there to send my fa- find my father and find this thing. What's going on? Oh, that's right. Like that's right. I forgot about that. And bring it back to my, you know to the thief guild. Well, we got more than enough money to cover whatever reward. Yeah, I mean, he so gave us he gave us a bunch of stuff when we left, and then we got all the stuff in there. What else was he going to give us? More gold? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I was just doing it for him. But I think he'd only give that to us if we give this, this head back to him, right? Oh, he didn't want the head. He wanted the reward from the dude. He wasn't after the head. I thought he wanted us to. I thought he wanted us to return whatever his his brother was going for. Oh, Jacomo! Yeah, the Duke right. wants the head. Not to right. my I'm not talking about your thieves guild. Oh, you're talking about yeah. the Duke. Yeah, <laughs> that's current events. Yeah. So no, that's right. The he he was sent here by. We came here because of me. Right, right. But the Duke does the Duke doesn't know that, and so we had a separate deal with the Duke. And the Duke Which wanted us to bring this. About. If you remember Duke... from day one, I never wanted to be part of this Duke. Right. But uh, the Duke wanted us to return this magic item to him as as part of our transaction, right? I think it needs to be destroyed. Well, well transaction voided. Let's just walk. What? Out. You can't destroy <laughs> this. What? No. The head's our friend, Dad. You like the head. You want to sleep with it. I get it. Whatever. You're no, it's weird. not a oh, sexual thing. Weird. It's Girl a it's mushrooms, whatever. If it makes you powerful, you know, that's what we're all about. Am I wrong? It's not sexual. <laughs> it's not sexual. <laughs> oh, was I implying that? Uh, my bad. That wasn't even implied. <laughs> Yeah, there was no implication there. You came right out and said it. <laughs> but that that's neither here nor there. I, cuddling it at night, you know. I've got no problem skipping on this dude. I cuddle with my pillow. I don't I have no problem skipping on this Duke. 
Yeah, that's all. I'm just like. Oh, like we don't have to go back. Fine with that. Yeah, we, have, we yeah. wouldn't have been the first party he lost in this endeavor. The only thing he'd lose is any chance of Melisana, which you never had in the first place. Let's be honest. Plus, well, she's now a that bitch. I have my power, maybe she'd be interested. Yeah, she's a bitch. Well, you can find <laughs> out. I'm gonna walk past because I just I don't care. I'm just gonna go back to the, the thief guild. So that's where we should head. Okay, we'll go there first. Because I mean, otherwise we have no other path. What else are we gonna do? Well, I think it's anyway. a good idea if we go visit the Duke and talk to him about it. That things might have to change a little bit around here. <laughs> and, and I'm telling you, we're not ready for that. It's so funny. I've got no interest. Maybe the Thieves really Guild. you want to walk up to the Gapes of the Castle and, like, stir up a storm? I'm not talking about killing people. You know that's what it's going to come to here. Come on. No, they'll You're gonna see. Walk in, wave this head around. Go. This is mine now. You're going to listen to me. <laughs> and you think they're going to go? Oh, okay. Come on, man. <clears throat> maybe, maybe well, this witch's head is how the very first duke got grounded. started. Stay grounded. Keep your feet on the ground. Come on. Okay, we'll we'll have to. The day. You're right. You're right. Let's go to the thieves' guild, and uh, might have to gather some forces. Help me here. All right. So, <clears throat> with that, right, you guys are gonna you're camping out, gonna sleep through the night, and then head off to the um, head off to Jockamon in the morning. So, I think with that, like it's it's about nine fifteen right now. So, I'm thinking maybe with that, we'll stop the live stream for a second, or we'll ra we'll wrap up the live stream for everyone to go. Oh, such a dark campaign, um, and uh, and then we'll chat. Uh, for a few minutes after that, so let's let's go ahead and wrap that up. Then let's see. Let me get back over to the right screen. So yes, everyone, that ended. Uh, I was fearful. Uh, well, I won't say fearful. I th I thought it could end super dark, uh, given the way the last two had gone, and it has definitely gone that way. These guys have become dark, dark characters. Um, but like I said, um still is um, fitting within the overall uh, Beast of Burden epic campaign that I think adds, oh, this really adds some like really cool dimensions to this whole thing. So I'm super excited about um, where this is going to go. So with that, you guys are going to just have to tune in in two weeks and find out where this leads us. Because I am, I'm super excited here. All right. So with that... Certainly going to be interesting. It is, yeah. Very, very interesting. So with that, have a good night. Thanks for watching.